Tyler Baker from MMA Madhouse, and I'm here with Fred Moore. Wow, new Brawl Inc. champion, man. <laughs> Middleweight champion. I mean, you come down here in Branson, man, out from southeast Missouri at uh, Gladiator MMA, and hey, you showed the guys from southwest Missouri what's up, man. You, I mean, you beat a, you beat a Brawl Inc. champion, Datrick Elmore. I mean, that dude has got heavy hands, man, and hey, you put it to him, man. How you feel? I mean, I feel good. I mean, I train and I train like an animal, so when I fight, I fight like an animal. I do the best I can. Yeah. I mean, uh, you came in here, uh, there, you know, there's a, another Fred Moore out of Joplin, that, and I'm like, man, that's not the, you know, the, this guy is not the guy from, you know, oh, no, he's from Cape Girardeau, man. And you train out of Gladiator MMA, I mean, and they, them boys are tough out there. I mean, we have a couple, Max Neely and them guys come out here and fight, and, and you come up here and uh, you put a show on for the fans, man. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, now you're going back to southeast Missouri and, Got the Brawl Inc. title, man. Oh, yeah. Long long trip, but it's worth it. But you know what? You're going to have to come back, well, man, because you got to defend. Huh? I'll be back there. <laughs> so how you feel, man? I mean, you guys went, uh, you got him out in the second round. You, you know, you went through the first round. Uh, what did your corner man tell you after the first round? I mean, I mean, I, don't I had it pretty even, evenly matched the first round. I mean, yeah. you guys was going back and forth. and So what, what was they telling you to come out the second round just... I mean, basically, I came to the conclusion that I trained too hard for this. I mean, I work hard at what I do. Nobody's just going to beat me. I mean, you're going to have to, you have to train as just as hard as I do. So, so you, you train pretty regular basis? I yes. mean, you... It's an everyday thing. You, you train every day, huh? And get in there and... 21 years old? Man, you're 9-0? Oh. Yes, sir. you got a bright future, man. I mean... Do you uh do you uh perform at the Cage of Honor out there in Cape or Scott uh, Scott City or wherever they? I mean, they really didn't know me, but I'm sure after winning this and showing them that I'm one of the best. How many other and, promotions have you fought in? I mean, uh, basically peak performance. The rest of them were, you know, dated back in like Perigo and Marmaduke. But, okay, okay, yeah. Wow, that's man. probably the biggest one I fought for. Yeah, so. there you go. Well, you know what you. You move up the range, you, you're champion at the Brawl Inc., man. You can, you know, work up and get on that show fight card. Oh, yeah. And just keep moving up, man, and just keep going from there, man. I mean, excellent performance, man. Enjoyed it. You know, you'll be back. So, yes, hey, sir. anybody you want to give a shout-out to, man, you want to thank? Or oh, it's your yeah. time, man, you want to sell the car, go for it, man. I'd like to give the shout-out to, um, you know, the owner of the gym, you know what I'm saying, Jay. Um, Max McNeely, my boy Keith Dawson, uh, my girl Kiana Manor for keeping me motivated, my parents. I like to um, there you go. shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? If you want hey me to I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> um, hey I'm man, a, ain't nothing motivate you anymore, man, than your mom and dad come to, and uh, support you at what you love to do, man. I mean, oh yeah, I that's awesome. I support it. You know, I, I like to shout out to everybody who supported me. There you go, man. Fred Moore, man, out of Gladiator MMA. Can't wait to see you back, man. I'll be back. All right, man.